Hear the words of the prophet Zandona. The great day of the Lord is nigh. It shall be a day of fierceness, a day of misery and fear, a day of storm and deluge. Thus speaks the prophet, and thus I speak to you. The fury of God will be wrought on all who are impure in body and soul, and he will have no mercy but shatter them for good. But for all those who are pure of heart, those who call themselves Puritas Cordis, the day of salvation is near for they will not be swept away by the wave of change. All those who are part of our community, part of Puritas Cordis, will be carried along on this wave to a new future, to a new world order, a new kingdom of God. Praise the Lord! Praise Puritas Cordis! What a nice day. Yes, isn't it? Let's enjoy it while we can. What do you mean? The change of climate with all its terrible and unforeseen consequences, burning oil fields in the Middle East, civil wars, and then the terrible earthquake in Japan. I'm telling you, the whole world will go up in flames soon. It's not as bad as all that. Okay, there are a number of big problems around the world, but sooner or later... It'll be over, exactly. I'm telling you, if the Earth doesn't want us anymore, there's nothing anybody can do about it. I won't invite him to my next party. I've just seen this awful sermon given by an even more awful person on television. Is it possible you've also seen it and you're easily impressed? You mean Pat Shelton? Could be. So... Are you one of them, too? Shouldn't we all believe in something that can't be stopped? Just take a look around. The world's going crazy. These terrible catastrophes are happening everywhere, just like the Bible predicted. It can't be sheer coincidence. I tell you, the day of the apocalypse is nigh. And only the pure at heart will survive. That's what Pat Shelton said. And I say that's complete trash. And Pat Shelton said, we will all live in peace and without fear as soon as the world is cleansed. That's what we want, right? No more fear. But fear is created by people like this Shelton character. His puritas cordis, or whatever it's called, can only exist because people allow themselves to be frightened by strange prophecies and insinuations. If you say so. It's just a shame. What's a shame? That a nice girl like you will be swept away when the Great Flood comes. He's beyond help. I am so glad you could make it. There is something I would like to show you. Nina! Max! Yes, Nina Kalenkov and Max Gruber. I would love to leave you to properly celebrate your reunion, but we haven't got the time, I'm afraid. The reason for our little gathering is quite simple. There are some things you want to know and some things that I want to know. You claim it is a coincidence that while in two completely different parts of the world, you happen to develop an interest in the very same matter. How can you expect anyone to believe that? That would be highly unlikely, even if you were total strangers. But in your case... And your collaboration with David Correll of the Church Intelligence Service is certainly more than just coincidence. I don't know who you are working for, but you must know more than you have told me. A lot more. And yet, I am sure you do not know everything. So let us make a deal. I will now show you what you want to know. You see, truth is like an eternal flame. You can try to conceal it, try to shade it, but it cannot be extinguished. And the truth has long stopped hiding its ugly face behind the veil of technology and progress. It shows its terrible grimace day by day. 660 children starve to death every hour. Millions of people slave away in horrible, degrading circumstances 
while their boss has become richer and fatter all the time. The deserts are expanding, the polar caps are melting, the ozone hole is growing, the climactic catastrophe is at hand! Every day, we do our best to destroy our planet with all the powers at our command. Today alone, another 140 or so animal and plant species have become extinct. I know, it's terrible. So, can you make this world a better place? Yes, I can. Zandona was a great prophet. Too great for his time. His vision could not be brought to life in the 17th century. Today, things are different. Vision? Zandona never had any visions. He was just a very sick man who wanted to destroy the world. Destroy? How blind you are! He never wanted to destroy the world! He only wished to root out the evil that is responsible for all the destruction in our world! I will show you. Except for the people on the East Coast. I guess you won't be leading them anywhere. Haven't you been listening to me? I told you this is about saving the world. By leaving millions of people to drown? How is that saving them? I am saving them from their own destructiveness. They would kill each other anyway, sooner or later. But in that case, not just a couple of million people would die, but the basis for our existence on this planet would be permanently destroyed. Don't you see? Those who hold the power in this world are leading us to our doom, day by day. But now, we have a chance of seizing this evil by the root and wiping it out once and for all. Without its rulers, humankind will be as helpless as a flock of sheep without a shepherd. They will turn to God and to Puritas Cordis. For we are the ones who saw the catastrophe coming and who know how to avert any further disasters. And nobody suspects that Puritas Cordis caused those disasters in the first place. It does not befit the sheep to question the will of the shepherd. We will teach people to live devoutly. We will teach them the ways of Zandona, and we will welcome them to the new state of God. They will be led by our supporters, chosen from among the wisest of the wise and the most pious of the devout. And what will your role be in that state? Mine will be the voice that proclaims the will of God. In other words, you will rule over all the rest. So this is really about power, as always. Certainly, the power of the Lord. But that's enough of me, enough of us. I have fulfilled my part of the bargain and told you much that you probably did not know. At least, not